Hello and welcome to this new addition to the hair shader. Now in previous packs I was restricted to using the non-HDRP, so the standard PBR workflow from Unity 5 to Unity 2018. Now with HD render pipeline being a big thing I've decided to port a lot of the shaders over but to avoid any confusion I'm treating this now as its own standalone hair shader pack which will get its own updates and all these things and won't be part of the human shader pack. This is just to avoid the blurry line between HDRP and non-HDRP and it just means that I've got more control of updates and not too kind of restricted to new things that might be on offer in the HD render pipeline that might not be on offer in the uh, the previous versions. So what I've got here is just some variations of the hair shader. There's some ones I've done before using the standard um, model, also some shader graph stuff. So this is like the HD render pipeline lit. Uh, so is this one and this is a shader graph version where I've tried to mimic some of the, the features that I added in the hair shader 2. But lo and behold I've made a hair shader 2 a type of graph using my Amplify Shader Editor a graph from Hair Shader 2. Brought that into HDRP, made a few changes and a few improvements and I hope you like this. So we're going to go ahead and make uh, two more materials here. So I've made a brown one and I want to make a blue and a blonde. So let's just go into the HDRP materials and if you look in the VRTC folder, you'll see that I've got this base one. So I'm just going to call this uh, brown. Right, so that's already assigned. I'm going to control T to duplicate. I'm going to call this blue. And I'll do another one and call it blonde. So I don't know this is blue, I'm just going to change these immediately to blue. So we got two kind of blue variations in the tone and then I'm going to apply that here. And you can see already the uh, the features from H, uh, the Hair Shader 2 are already kind of coming through so that's quite nice. Uh, I've kept most of the parameters, I've even added a couple of things. So you can now like push this, uh, this tangent for a different effect. Uh, we've got the usual highlight sort of control here. So if you want something really stylized, you can really push those colors and push the strength. So you can get, you know, super strong highlights for that cartoony look. You can also shift the position as before. And you've got control of the spread. And we've got the push tangent, like I was saying before as well. Uh, some noise power. And we can also puff up the mesh, is a new thing that I've added. So you, if you just want this to be a little bit thicker, then you can just puff this up and it just puffs up the top of it. Um, maybe in a different version I'll do it a little bit different, but that's quite nice to have that there. Uh, let's see, any colours I want to change here? Maybe this can be a bit more bluish. And the gloss again is stored in the alpha channel like before, just for convenience. Uh, we've got our texture maps here. This is driven through the VRTC system where the hair cards follow these strand sets and the normal map does the same. The opacity power here and the anisotropy value which is built into the shader just to you know give that extra highlight. So as you push the, the tangent around, you can even get this like third highlight. So not only have we got the two highlights, we've now got this third one based on the anisotropy value and the pushing the tangent will push that around. Uh, so it's quite a lot of new new things just to make it that little bit better for HD render pipeline. Uh, let's just make the root color a little bit more bluish as well and the tip. Let's just make that white, or maybe a light blue. Okay, so it's looking re really shiny and reflective. 
uh, we can tone that down by changing the gloss values a little but mainly mainly this would be in the strength of these okay so you can tone that down to just give it a softer look and obviously the anisotropic value all right so we can full control as before uh, so as we move the, the light around you can see that's that's working quite well and it does it takes into account the light color so if you've got a nighttime scene then it's going to work quite nicely uh, so that'll do for the blue here so if you want it to be more vivid then just push these strengths and you can also change the exponent exponent which is kind of like the spread and positionings and things uh, so let's do blonde hair let me just change these quickly to yellow so I can make sure it's applying and go I'm just changing these roughly to blondish colors a bit too yellow in this one the root, we make that a little bit dirtier, and the tip a little bit lighter. Let's decrease the strength a bit, and the bump seems quite high. It's not the bump; it's probably the noise or the spread. Push that round. And See the root color. That's not too bad actually. It's orangey. The tone here could probably be darker. Uh, metallicness will also help a little bit. In fact, let's bring that into the blue one. You can see how that just makes it more vivid. Okay, so that's pretty much what you would do for making up your hairs. Um, I do have a little standalone pack that generates these these for you. So just get in touch by email if you want a copy of this and it will let you generate your strands. And uh, that's constantly being updated as well. But I'll put a link in the description for that and there's a couple of videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.